we continue to interrogate and debate and try to understand Lenin's thinking. I think it's very important to uh, understand his efforts to reject attempts to turn uh, Marxism as we apply our flexible tactics into uh, what he called ordinary liberalism. And his whole political tradition, I think, was framed in, in reviving revolutionary Marxism, in changing conditions, in, in, in trying to understand the successes of the movements, but also the inherent weaknesses that developed in the course of those victories. And that inherent weakness was that in some respect, they became dizzy with their success. They lost uh, uh, contact with the, the main point of the whole Marxist endeavor, which is to fight for the leading role of the working class, for the working class to place its imprint on the democratic struggle, to, to fight for working class power. We've had to address the need uh, for prolonged struggles over a long, long period of time. And while doing so, not to lose sight of the objective goal. And, and so we have to find ways of sustaining our movements and employing more forms of struggle than just participating in elections and uh, struggling around strikes and so on. We also need cultural sustenance. And, and spiritual sustenance, and to learn the techniques of storytelling and art and, and, and film and music and so on and so forth in the course of uh, our very, very complicated work to uh, not lose sight of two goals. On the one hand, to place that working class imprint on the struggle, and number two, to not lose sight of the goal of fighting for uh, working class power through building coalitions, for, for broad coalitions, strengthening from below, building the communist parties, utilizing all forms of, of struggle, fighting for the hegemony uh, politically, culturally, socially of the working class and democratic movements.